Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm so beyond excited to be introducing the fourth round of my Roulette Pan collab. This is a Project Pan collaboration series that Lexi and I started over a year ago now and we are currently starting the fourth round and that means that we have done actually a full 12 months of project panning, um, which is insane because every single one of these project pans has gone over four months. So that's just so crazy to me. It's so amazing. Um, yeah, it's been an absolute blast. And as many of you guys know, last time around, we opened it up to everyone because we had so many people who were kind of curious about it. And this time around, we've opened it up again, and there are so many people in the Google spreadsheet. So I'll be sure to link the YouTube playlist down below so you guys can check out everyone else's channels. And of course, go onto Instagram and uh, use the hashtag, hashtag roulette pan collab to find everybody's posts about this project pan series. It's it's so much fun to keep up with everyone. It's been so much fun to just like meet new people and to stay inspired. It's just, it's been an absolute blast and I'm so beyond thrilled that we are doing this yet again. So definitely check out that playlist, check out the hashtag and feel free to join in if you haven't yet already. Just let me know your email address in the comments or feel free to DM me on Instagram if you don't want that public and I will share the Google spreadsheet with you. Definitely go head over to Alexi's channel. She is so beyond inspiring when it comes to project panning, but also just creative makeup looks. And I can't wait to see what she picks for this project pan. This is gonna be so much fun to keep up with her again and everyone else, of course. So yes, let's just hop into the intro because I'm so excited right now. So if you're new to my channel or you're new to this project pan, then you may not understand how it works, but basically all that we're choosing is six different categories from the Google spreadsheet and I'm going to randomly generate six numbers to give me those prompts. So for me personally, I just like to see all six numbers together instead of picking six different times on random.org. So I'm using the random integer set generator and I'm going to generate a set of six numbers now. And I have five, six, 28, 34, 41, and 44. So I am just going to go take a look through my collection and pick products based on those prompts and I'll be right back to share with you guys what those prompts are and the products that I chose for each category. So I just spent a lot of time with my makeup collection and I'm super excited about all the products that I selected for the categories. It took me quite some time and I do think some of these are gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I am really excited to be working with all of these products and to be using them all again. And let's just hop into the products that I'm gonna be using. So the first one I have here is from category number five, which is a product you bought because of YouTube. And I chose the ABH Contour Kit. This is in the light to medium shade range. I honestly never thought I needed a contour kit before YouTube and this one was like heavily talked about long ago, not long ago, but a few years back. And this is what my contour kit is looking like right now. I really wanna focus on this shade right here, which is called Banana. And I already have significant pan happening on that shade. So I don't think it should be a problem to get it used up in the next four months. I just have to make a point of remembering to get use out of it. I definitely want to use these other shades as well over the next few months, but my focus is definitely gonna be this guy right here. The next category I selected is number six, which is an old favorite. And I didn't really know where to go with this prompt. There's so many products in my collection that I would consider favorites and I have had for several years at this point. But this is one of the products I really wanna get out of my collection in 2019. And I absolutely love this blush. So I figured this is the perfect option to put in here. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Sweetheart. This packaging is so beat up and broken. There's like no writing on the cap whatsoever. So you can tell this is an old favorite. And I did have this in a project pan last summer. I did hit pan on it and actually use up about half of the product in a four months time. So, or in a four month period. So I don't think that it would be an issue for me to use this up during this project pan. It has been repressed and so it is a little bit more loose and it's the kind of shade that literally goes with everything. It's just like a tiny, slightly sheeny, tiny? I don't know why I said that. It's like a slightly sheeny, um, just beautiful pink shade and I know that I can definitely build it up but I can also wear it really sheared out 
or on top of other blushes. It's just so beautiful, so effortless and easy. And since it has been repressed, it also is a little bit more loose. So I don't see it being a problem at all to get this used up over the four months. I, I think it will take me the entire project to get it used up, but I'm really super excited that this might be out of my collection in early 2019. The next category that I selected was number 28, and that is a product you wouldn't repurchase. And on the flip side of an old favorite, there actually were several products in my collection as well that I would um, select for that. But this one is relatively old in my collection, and it is something, again, that I really want to focus on. I really need to get it out of my collection because of the type of product that it is. And it is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Aphrodisiac. This is considered a blush or contour. I guess you could use it as either. And it is a creamy formula as the Super Shock products are. So I think it actually is holding up really well, but I do want to get it used up because creamier products like this definitely go bad sooner than powders. It is absolutely beautiful, there's no doubt about that. I just don't have an absolute need for a product like this in my collection, so I want to get it used up and out of my collection so that I can work on other bronzers, other contours. Um, but as you can see, I do already have a fair amount of pan on here. I don't have a ton of product in here, but again, I'm not sure I'll be able to get this used up within this project. However, I think it is something that I'll be able to get used up um, within the next year at least so I really want to just get a head start on that and work my way through this This is what the shade of that looks like. It's just a beautiful Slightly warm contour bronzer kind of shade which is so easy to work with and because it's a cream product I really do think it's gonna work with my skin really well as it is getting a little bit more dry And I think this is just gonna be a lot of fun to reintroduce into my routine I'm super excited to be working on this guy again. The next category was category number 34 Which is something underrated and immediately I knew what I wanted to work on. It is this mellow lipstick. This is the matte lipstick in the shade Nude and I already swatched it right here. It's just this beautiful, like slightly mauve blushy kind of nude shade and it's just an absolutely beautiful formula and beautiful color. There is a lot of product in here and I, I don't think I'd be able to use it up within this project but I'm so excited to just be getting use out of it. I haven't thought about what kind of goal I want to set for myself. Maybe I'll do like a count goal, which I find really difficult to track, but maybe I'll do something like that or number of times in a week to use it, something like that. Um, but this is such an easy product for me to use. When I discovered this in my collection actually earlier this year, I literally could not stop wearing it. And I did talk about it in a Loving Lately video before, so I'll link that down below. But I just, I'm so in love with this lipstick and I knew right away I wanted to work on this product right here. And then next category was number 41, which is a limited edition item. I don't own very many of those, but I do have the ColourPop third birthday collection. And this is a product that I haven't really gotten much use out of from within that collection. Actually, all of the lip glosses I haven't really got a lot of use out of. And this one is in the shade Bash. This is the ultra glossy lip in the shade Bash. And as you can see, like the writing is still pretty much perfect on there, which is a telltale sign that a ColourPop product is not getting use um, because they always wear off if you're using them frequently. But this is just a really easy to wear lip gloss. I don't know why I haven't reached for this. It is just a light pink, kind of peachy sort of pink with just a lot of shine and reflect to it. And I do have it just popped into the center of my lips right now. And I don't know why I haven't used this. So I'm super excited to be working on this. Again, this is something I don't know what I'm gonna do in terms of setting a goal, but I think I'm just gonna use it throughout the entire project. I think this is the kind of project I'm not sure I'm gonna roll anything into, to be completely honest, but um, I'm super excited to be working on this, getting a feel for it, deciding if I like it or not. And yeah, just integrating it into many more looks. I'm actually starting to fall for lip gloss and I've been wanting to buy the Fenty Gloss Bomb, like a full size since I finished my mini. And I think this will really fit that desire, fit that need for the time being. And I'm super excited about this guy. And there is just one more product in this project, which is category number 44. And that is a hair care item. I'm surprised I haven't yet pulled this category throughout different rounds of this project pan, but 
As soon as I pulled that number, I knew I was going to choose this product because it's something that has been so neglected and I keep telling myself like I have to work on it, I have to work on it and I never ever remember to use it. It is the um, Paul Mitchell, I believe, yeah, Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Lavender Mint Conditioning Leave-In Spray. So it's basically a leave-in conditioner and it has an amazing fragrance. Yeah, I love this smell so much. It's so like spa-like but relaxing and just, yeah, it's a gorgeous fragrance. And I think that for me personally, it's easiest to use like right after I shower at nighttime or if my hair is on like second or third day and it's getting a little bit dry on the ends, this kind of amps it up again and I just never ever reach for it. And I keep telling myself like, I need to work on that. I need to work on that because I've had it in my collection for over a year now. It sits on my bathroom counter and it just gets just never gets touched it's so crazy and i think i'm down to about here so truly i have not used it very much so my goal is going to be to use like about half or maybe just under half i have to figure out what that goal is going to be i'm actually really really happy with the full collection of the six items that i'm going to be focusing on this project pan like i said i'm not sure that i'm going to be able to roll anything into this project throughout the next four months just based on the items that i selected but I also don't think that's a problem. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to use these up. It's gonna be so much fun to keep up with everyone's progress and to chat with all of you guys in the comments as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to binge watch everything on the playlist and to check out everyone's um, posts on Instagram. I'm so, so excited about this project pan and I hope that you guys are excited as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.